What about Liverpool? Adebayo Kinfem was beloved Liverpool beaten in dramatic fashion live on Talk Sport last night. Leeds winning at Anfield in the Premier League for the first time in more than 20 years. And afterwards, Jurgen Klopp spoke exclusively to Talk Sport and he tried to explain why he thinks his side have been so inconsistent this season. It's very intense for us. Obviously, we have a limited squad um, and we have to go through a lot of games and um, that's it. So it's, um, I think everybody can see that we, that we have our problems so, um, and that's um, not to change for tonight, but we will give everything to change from now on. That was Jurgen Klopp speaking to Talk Sport after Liverpool's 2-1 defeat at home to Leeds United. Liverpool find themselves languishing in ninth place in the table, 16 points from 12 matches they are eight points off the pace in terms of the top four. 15 points behind Arsenal, the current Premier League leaders. Uh, they've lost four games already this season. They've drawn four as well. That means they've dropped 20 points from their first 12 games. They only dropped 22 in the whole of last season. What's gone wrong, Bob? How happy is he, by the way? Uh, do you know the word? His I'm, eyes I'm, are I, smiling. The worst thing is I'm looking <laughs> and his mouth saying something. I'm like, just seeing his eyes. I'm like, yo, damn. Well, how, you, I, how can your eyes smile? Jeez. Oh, um, you know what? I also do. I want I want Liverpool fans to, to, to phone in today and have this conversation because... They for, won't because you lost. No. Nah, oh, well, call in and let's have a conversation because all throughout my WhatsApp groups we've been talking and, of course, look, it gets to a point when... <laughs> Not that you can't defend it, it just, we're having a bad season. I, for me, I, I came out and said that, you know what, I do think we'll suffer this season. You said a few weeks ago, after they beat Manchester City, we were on the air and you said, and I'll quote, Go on. we're back. Yeah, we're back. I told you, we've just gone to the shop a couple of weeks, but we, we are back. Like, you know what I'm saying? No, no, listen, look, well, we've lost back-to-back games. Um, it's We've got injuries. We keep changing um, play personnel. Look... We've got major injuries and we're at a point where not that, that we're scratching our head. I, I think Klopp scratching his head. You know, he's having interviews and not that he's, he's it saying was the very same thing. prickly with the television. Yeah, but you can last understand. Night. Do you know what But you can understand and you know sometimes You've still got to lose with a bit of dignity in class, haven't you? But it's not it's not even that. Like frustration is frustration. And I'd sometimes feel like you're you feel like everybody should be, and especially the the media feels like everybody, regardless of what should be able to have their emotions in check. And it literally doesn't run like that. Whereas, because he doesn't, he can't put his finger on it sometimes, the manner of how his team's losing. And because Liverpool set standards so high, just last season, and you quoted it, 22 points was dropped. We've done that already. And we're 15, 12 games in, or almost 15 games 12 in. 12 games in, yeah. So we're 12 games in. So you, you've got to look at it where he's thinking, right, you know what? He thought, after Man City, Liverpool are back. We all, I wouldn't say we all thought that, but... Great game, great positioning, great tactics. And then they lose players, go to lose to Forest, not scoring goals. Should have won yesterday, in the sense, especially second half. Melly, Melly had a great game yeah. in goal yeah. for Leeds. And then Nunes, again, look, he's on, and I keep saying, he's, he's going to take him time. And you're, you're, no matter what, you're comparing him to Mane, who's, lo- who's left, and you're comparing him to Haaland. So he, that is literally what he's up against. And so we're knowing still at the same time, it's going to take time. And normally when players come in, you allow them time to, to settle in, saying, oh, you know what, it may take them time. Liverpool don't have time because of what was set last season. Like every game got all the way to every four competitions last season. And now nah, struggling ninth, losing to, uh, you, you said the stat, first time losing to... Two teams back to back in the bottom three. In the bottom three, yeah. and and that's where it is. I can't put your finger on it, but listen, I, 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 look, we're gonna we're gonna suffer this season. But the hope we um, I'm holding on to anyway. I think last couple of seasons we've st- we've had bad starts of the season. When I say bad, we finished stronger in the second half of the season than we do in the first half of the season. So fingers crossed. That's what happens. It isn't a surprise that Darwin Nunez is taking time to find his feet in the Premier League, though, is it? Because you look at his career, it wasn't that long ago that he was playing Spanish second division football. He was very close to joining Brighton for around about £25 million. West Ham were also in the running. All of a sudden, he did so well at one season in Portugal, which, let's be honest, isn't as strong as the Premier League. And that's enough to convince Liverpool to pay massive money to replace Sadio Mane, someone who's been there got the t-shirt the when it comes Champions to the Premier League, League well, and the no, Champions League. Done it. No. But, but it was a massive step up. Yeah, but again, you know what? We also got a... It's 
price tags nowadays is kind of irrelevant because of how the inflation is. So it's not like back in the day where you could actually, and I'm not trying to disrespect anybody that get a price tag, but... What was your biggest transfer fee, Darren Ambrose? Four. Four million, I think. God damn, that's big, man. I ain't going to lie. Back in the day, that's huge. Who who did you pay to Let him know, man. Let him know. (laughs) Back in the day, that's like 50 million nowadays. Now? And what was that? That in administration, by the way. Ambrose is going for 77 million nowadays. Four million back then. That was Ipswich to Newcastle. For four million? Yeah, it was kind of a... a, you, know, you don't want to ask me. Mine was administration and eighty-five. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. Not not million. Grand. Oh. Yeah, eighty-five. Oh, no. That's big back then, though. Oh, yeah, I'm telling you, especially the EFL and that product of the EFL. Yeah. Don't laugh at that, bruv. What'd you go for then? Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, go for well, that. If I, if, I left, if I left now, <laughs> you'd be talking multi-million. I'm sure, <laughs> Bosman. <laughs> but just give us an insight, then, Darren Ambrose, because you've said that was big money. Yeah. Four million pounds. Yep. You were quite a young player mm. when you made that move. Did the price tag? hamper you did it weigh on your shoulders well, look, it, in terms of price tag look, even back then it wasn't huge but for I was I was 17 so yeah it was quite a large one coming from Ipswich in the championship to, to Newcastle yeah kind of a little bit yeah, just yeah. just because even the first day in training like you miss control of ball and everyone's like how much yeah, like that yeah. you kind of if you're not mentally ready for that that does have an effect and look they were for me they were bullied into it a little bit with Harlem going to Manchester City as well I think they needed to sign this big number nine I know we're going to go to a break soon, but look, let's not take anything away from Leeds, by the way, who were fantastic. As you said, Melier were brilliant yesterday, kept them in the game second half. They've, apart from the Leicester game recently, Arsenal, they were very good. They've, this has been coming. OK, it happened to Liverpool and Liverpool say, yeah, but we need to be beating teams like Leeds. I said a few weeks ago, I like Jesse Marsh as a manager. They should stick by him. He says all the right things. And this was fully deserved, in my opinion, for Liverpool. There's a few things going wrong at Liverpool. We know this. But this is still a team, in my opinion. Don't take don't take for granted the, the mental side of things where they were classed as one of the best Premier League teams ever last season, could win the, the quadruple. Last two games of the season, they ended two trophies like that and they only won the, the two minor trophies out the four. That has an effect on you mentally. But for me still, this is a team that can still go 10 games back-to-back winning. I still believe that. The manager can still get them on side and yeah. get them 10 games and they will go right up the table they'll be sitting in second or third and everyone will go out oh, it was a minor blip the way they started I just think it's going wrong at the moment but it's still positive out, up there 